Have you ever wondered why there are exactly seven days in a week? We have grown up planning our lives, our schedule around these seven days of a week. For most of us, Monday to Friday are the hustle days, and Saturday and Sunday mark the lazy weekends. But why does this cycle repeat every seven days? Why not eight or ten days? Is there any cosmic connection to it? If yes, then what is it? In the third episode of Ever Wondered, let's learn why there are exactly seven days in a week. Celestial phenomena have always guided humanity in different ways. Our planet takes roughly 24 hours to complete one rotation. That's how we define a day. The Earth goes around the Sun once every 365 days, and this marks one full year. Finally, the entire solar system goes around the center of the galaxy once every 250 million years, and the duration is known as one cosmic year. Where Earth and Sun helped identify days and years, the Moon brought the idea of months to our platter. Ancient civilizations were keen sky gazers, and one such civilization was of the Babylonians who lived in Mesopotamia, present-day Iraq. While observing the cosmic wonders, Babylonians came up with their original calendar that demonstrated the Moon's movement. The Moon takes 27.3 days to go around the Earth. As the Moon orbits our planet, we see four different phases of the Moon over the span of 29 to 30 days. These four phases are the New Moon, the first quarter, the full moon, and the third quarter. The Babylonians rounded the moon cycle down to 28 days, assigning seven days to each of the four phases, and using leap days to stay in sync with the moon phases in the long run. That's how the idea of having seven days in a week came into existence. Apart from this, there are several other stories as well behind the seven days week duration. One of them is linked with the planets of the solar system, the Babylonians had the concept of the seven classical planets, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Although the Sun and the Moon are not planets, the ancient idea of these seven classical planets referred to the seven moving celestial objects seen in the sky, including the Moon and the Sun. The Babylonians assigned each of the seven days to the seven planets visible to the naked eye, making number seven crucial in more than one way. However, this concept was not unique to the Babylonians. Even the ancient Indian astronomers were familiar with this concept. Although nowadays, the idea of a week with seven days is prevalent almost everywhere, the number seven wasn't the only one associated with the number of days in a week in history. There existed other civilizations that had a different definition of a week. For instance, the Egyptians had their Egyptian calendar where they chose to have a week ten days long, while for the Romans, their one week lasted for eight days as per their Roman calendar. Since Babylonians were a dominant section of society in terms of culture, their notion of a week spread worldwide. Today, almost every continent, every country, every city, town, and village have got on board with the seven-day week. Time and again, attempts have been made to change the concept of a seven-day week, but it seems that it is here to stay for a prolonged time.